guys, I'm back and today I have what? <laughs> I filmed for you this sort of really daytime and fresh and still kind of girly and glam Valentine's Day look. I already have two looks that I filmed that were sort of more on the bold side, so I'll link those down below also if you guys want to check those out and get any other ideas for Valentine's Day. But I wanted to keep something very neutral and nude and just really fresh and still really girly for this look. Um, I used like three, two shadows, three or two shadows for my crease and a sparkler. It's so simple and the lip is really nude and still really fresh and moisturizing. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see something more bold and dramatic because I want to film a smoky Valentine's Day look. So if you want to see that, let me know what colors you want me to use for that smoky Valentine's Day look because I have a lot in mind, but I don't know which one to do. So let me know what you guys want to see and I'll definitely film that for you. And if you want to stick around and see how I got this look, then just keep watching. The first shadow I'm going into is Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow and Petal Pusher. Using a Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to start blending this shadow through my crease. And I'm going to start sweeping this sort of in a winged shape because I want all the shadows through my crease to wing out. I'm then going into Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Vintage. I'm then taking a Sigma E45 tapered blending brush. And this is going to be the perfect brush to do this shape that I want to create with this shadow. So I'm starting to run this through my crease first, and then I'm going to start winging out all the shadows. I want to make sure that it's in this outer corner as well, as well, <laughs> as well. and I want to create like a little V shape right here, and then I'm going to start winging this out. Then when you have the basics... Why I can't talk. <laughs> when you have the basic shape, you're going to lay the brush down so the tip is basically just touching your crease. And that's how we're going to start lightly blending this out and feathering it out. And don't worry if it's harsh because we are going to be going back in with that first crease shadow that we applied. Now I'm going back into Petal Pusher and that Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to start applying it right at the edge of that vintage shadow and blending this out, still creating that winged out shape. So now for my lower lash line, I'm going to start running Petal Pusher first and just smoking that out and bringing it all the way to my inner corner. And then I'm going to run Vintage just on the outer corner of my lower lash line because I want to keep that elongated winged out shape. For my brow bone, I'm taking Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Mirage. I'm now applying this shadow to the high point of my brow and then just blending it down just slightly. Now for the pink sparkle on my lid, I'm taking Makeup Geek Cosmetics Sparkler in Lightyear. Now I'm just applying some glitter glue. This is by Mika Beauty and I'm applying this all over that lid space where I didn't apply any shadow. I'm now going to pat that glitter over top. And then just a little on the inner corner. I don't have any glitter glue here so this is just going to add a nice little sheen and it's not going to be too intense as the lid. To tight line I'm taking Sigma Beauty Standout Eyes Gel Liner in Wicked. So now I'm just tight lining my upper lashes with some gel liner and I'm doing this because I am not applying any liner so when I apply the lashes I sort of want them to be a little bit darker and fuller. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara and falsies, and the lashes that I'm using are these Esquito lashes in Miss Dolly, or Miss Dolly, I don't know, I'll link it down below. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the eye look done. Okay, so for lips, I want to keep them really nude and sort of a little bit glossy. Um, you could definitely pair this with a dark lip. I would personally pair it with a dark lip, but... I wanted to give you a nude option and something very pale and very soft and more like day appropriate. So for my lips, first I'm going to apply the NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo. And then over top I'm going to go in with the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I hope 
this creates a good match. <laughs> so first I'm just going to fill in and not fill in. I'm first going to apply the Cairo all over my lips. I could literally live in this smell. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. Why does all their stuff smell so good? You should uh, eat it. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna apply this over top. And that's it. This is the finished look of my soft Valentine's Day makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's really fresh and simple. And the lashes, I really, really like them. This is actually the first time I'm ever wearing these lashes and they're so Perfect for this look because they're still really winged out, so it gives you that really nice elongated cat eye look that I wanted to create with the shadows. But it's still really sort of natural that it doesn't look like you're wearing false lashes. It's like, whoa, you have like fake lashes on. It's sort of like, do you have fake lashes on? Hmm, I don't know. They sort of look like they're your lashes, but you know. <laughs> and the lip is really neutral. Um, I would totally wear this with a, where is it? I brought it to show you. Nope, that's not it. Um, I would totally wear this with a dark, bold lip. I think it would look so good. And I the little, I can't talk today. Literally cannot talk. <laughs> the lipstick that I would have gone for is Trust Issues by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the liquid lipstick. My favorite liquid lipstick. And it matches my dress. I was going to wear it, actually, but then I decided that I was going to change it up to a nude lip because I wanted to do something different. And I used Trust Issues in my last video. So, yeah. Definitely, you could totally wear this with a dark lip. Don't be afraid. You know me. I love dark lips, and I would totally wear this with a dark lip. So, yeah, okay, I feel like I said dark lip way too many times. So, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'll be right here, as well as down in the description box, and also a list of all the products that I used today will be down in the description box. And the link to both other Valentine's Day makeup looks that I did will be down in the description box, and there's going to be a lot of stuff in the description box. Always check that out, because I have a lot listed down below. Yeah, <laughs> I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!